Hello everyone and Assalamu alaikum. I am Muhammad Sulaiman, the Craft Engineering Instructor. Welcome to today's video about Boeing 777 Electrical Power, Chapter 24, which I made during type course. It will help you recall and refresh your knowledge about the system. So, dear technicians, engineers, and pilots, let's join the quiz. Chaliye start kare. These are the topics covered. The schematics. Question number one. What is the total number of power sources in the electrical power system of Boeing 777? Answer is A. Five main power sources, two backup power sources and two standby power sources. Question number two. What is the continuous supply capacity of each backup generator on an airplane? The answer is B. 20 kVA. Question number three. Which electronic unit controls the left IDG power? The answer is A. Left generator control unit, GCU. Question number four. Which ALMS ELMS panel controls the standby power? Answer is B. E310 standby power management panel. Question number five. What is the capacity of the aircraft main battery? Answer is B. 47 ampere hours. Question number six. What does the ALMS control? The answer is B, the aircraft or the airplane's electrical power system. 7. Where does all airplane electrical power goes through for, for distribution? Is C, the ELMS panels. Question number 8. The primary external power automatically supplies power to the A, ground handling buses. 9. Which power source usually supplies electrical power when the engines are operating? Answer is C. Question number 10. The APU generator can supply power to the airplane on the ground or in flight. Which of the following is true? Answer B. It can supply all of the airplane power. 11. Which power source supplies power to the FCDC PSAs under normal conditions? The answer is A. Question number 12. What is a backup generator converter used for? The answer is A. To make the backup generator output into satisfactory AC power. Question number 13. Which backup generator components contain the primary power sources for the FCDC PSAs? Answer is A. PMGs. Question number 14. What is the purpose of the rear generator? Answer is B. Supply power to the flight instrument buses when all normal power is lost. Number 15. Which of the following buses does the captain's flight instrument bus usually supply power to? The answer is B. The battery and battery 2 buses. Question number 16. Which bus usually supplies power to the hard battery and APU battery buses? The answer is C. Ground service bus. Question number 17. Which system supplies power only to components that are necessary to safely tow the airplane? is A, the towing power system. Number 18. Where are the electrical power system control switches located in the flight compartment? Answer is B, P5 overhead panel and P61 overhead maintenance panel. Number 20. Where is the rear generator located? Answer is C, wing to body fairing aft of the right man gear. Number 21. What components are in the E5 rake? Answer is C. FCDC components. Question number 22. Where is the APU generator attached? The answer is B. APU gearbox. 23. 
23 what components are in the if 10 rig the answer is c apu battery and battery charger number 24 where does the idg attach to on each engine the answer is a left side of the main gearbox Question number 25 where is the ground service switch located answer is b flight attendant panel by door one left number 26 what racks in the main equipment center contain electrical system components the answer is a e1 e2 e3 and e4 number 27 how many momentary action switches are on the electrical panel the answer is b four Question number 28, which switch connects the hot battery bus to the battery bus 2? The answer is C, battery switch. Which switch controls the operation of its related BTB? The answer is C, bus tie switches. 30, what does the away light indicate for the external power switches? The answer is C good power quality of the ground power source question 31 where what does the ice isln light indicate for the bus tie switches the answer is b and open btb question number 32 what is the order of power source selection for the ground service bus the answer is c right man ac bus external and APU generator 33 when both primary and external power and the APU generator are available which power source is selected for the ground handling AC bus the answer is C primary external power number 34 which of the following connects power between the main AC buses the answer is C BTBs question number 35 which of the following is not a component of the external power system? Answer is C. APU generator. Question number 36. What does the BPCU control on the aeroplane? Answer is C. Both external power and ground service power. Question number 37. What happens to the ground handling bus if the engines are running or if the aeroplane is in the air? Answer is B. It does not have power. 38. Which receptacle should you always use when connecting to the external power? The answer is B. Primary receptacle. Question number 39. What are the steps to apply external power to the airplane's electrical system? The answer is B. Connect ground power plugs, observe indications, operate control switches. Number 40, where do the two lights above the primary receptacle comes on? The answer is C, when power quality is good. Thank you so much for watching. I shall make more such informative notes and quiz videos on aircraft systems, air legislation and safe maintenance practices. So follow me on LinkedIn to download some printable easy notes that I upload. दोस्तों थैंक यू सो मच